Hi, this is Irv Shapiro with the Dr. Vax channel with another 3D printing demystified. In this episode, we're going to look at all of the individual parts on a 3D printer and explain what they do. Okay, stay tuned and let's learn something together. Okay, we're going to use a Monoprice Mini Select, which is a $190 entry-level 3D printer to explain the individual parts. The concepts, and in general the parts, are the same on 3D printers that start very inexpensive to 3D printers that range to thousands of dollars, as long as that 3D printer uses plastic filament, thermoplastic filament. These are called FDM printers. There are other 3D printers that use lasers. There are other 3D printers that use a range of processes that combine light and resins and powders in order to create a layer by layer print. What is common across all 3D printers is they print layer by layer. We're going to look at an FDM printer. The first thing we start with is a thermoplastic that comes on a reel and a reel of thermoplastic could be $15 to $50 or $60, depending on the type of plastic. Different plastics melt at different temperatures. Your printer has to be able to create the temperature necessary for your plastic. Most low-end printers do an excellent job with a plastic called PLA, which is a biodegradable plastic made from in general, the majority of it that's sold in North America is made from corn. The roll of filament is loaded onto the side or the back of the printer, depending on the printer, and it feeds into the first component on the printer called the extruder. The extruder in this case is on the top of the printer, doesn't have to be on the top of the printer. And the purpose of the extruder is to pull the filament off the reel and to send it to the hot end of the printer. Once the filament gets to this component called the hot end, the purpose of the hot end is to melt the filament and to lay it across the print bed. It goes across the print bed, the print bed moves up or down, or the hot end moves up or down to go to the next layer, back and forth, as you can see in this image. So the key components of a 3D printer are the filament, the extruder, potentially a Bowden tube, and the hot end. On the end of the hot end, you have a nozzle. Nozzles come in a variety of capabilities. Um, nozzles that are designed for very tough materials that would wear down the nozzle could be made of exotic materials. This happens to be a nozzle that has a ruby tip. The, in general, nozzles that you can buy very, very inexpensively are made of brass, and they're literally a couple dollars a nozzle, if not less. So to summarize, the filament goes through the extruder to the Bowden tube, from the Bowden tube to the hot end, from the hot end to the nozzle. All 3D printers will have a series of fans. These are used to cool the filament as it hits the print bed. Now, print beds come in a number of variety of types. The types that are easiest to use are print beds where the surface comes off, makes it easier to remove the print. On the Monoprice Select Mini, the standard one, it does not come off. Print beds can also be heated or unheated. You need to have a print bed that's heated to print certain materials. When you have a print bed that's heated, the heat keeps the plastic just a little bit soft so it stays flat on the print bed. If it's not heated, it tends to curl potentially on the edges. So the better printers, more current printers, generally have heated print beds. The way you get a print to a 3D printer is either with a cable connecting it to your computer or potentially with a SD card or a mini SD card. This is a mini SD card. These things are ab absolutely tiny. They're hard to work with. I prefer to use a cable to connect the printer to my computer. Okay, we now know the parts of a 3D printer. Look for the next episode of 3D printing demystified. 
to learn the details of different types of hot ends, different types of extruders, different types of filaments. Thanks. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Recommend it to your friends. Subscribe to the channel. Have a great day and let's continue to learn things together.